I'm streaming live. This is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Switch. Yes, I'm playing on Aaron's Switch. Thank you again for to Aaron for letting me use her Switch over and over and over since mine broke. But maybe I have to get one because this game was probably going to be good. Yes, I've said before many times that what I really want from Nintendo is some new franchises. But that doesn't mean I won't play their beloved franchises. You know, Mario, Zelda, Metroid, all that stuff. When is that Metroid game coming? When is it coming? I would like to play that. But uh, but really, no, I would like to see from Nintendo some new big franchises. Regardless, um, here we go. We got a new Zelda game on the Switch. This is pretty cool either way. Um, I think that, first of all, these graphics are... I think super fitting to The Legend of Zelda and what Zelda is and represents. Uh, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, you know, really colorful game. Here you go. I'm happy about that. It's one of the reasons I wanted to play it. These graphics almost look like, it looks like clay or something. It's like Clay Fighter. And I just think, uh, game looks great. It, this is coming off of a remake of one of the best, you know, Zelda games out there ever, um, you know, in the top, you know, one of my favorites, so I think this is great, you know, bringing it to a new generation, so good job, Nintendo. All right, um, anyway, let's keep going, though. So, yeah, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for Nintendo Switch. I'm sure it's going to be good, but I believe we have to, oh, by the way, I picked up Shield. I believe we have to go, oh, Octoroks to the beach is all I remember. Now, I haven't played Link's Awakening since I think I recorded all the footage for the Zelda timeline episode, so whenever that was, this is probably the last time I played Link's Awakening, I think. Um, unless, did we do it for James and Mike Mondays? Actually, you know what? I think we did it for James and Mike Mondays, so that must have been the last time we did it. I did it. Maybe I go down this way. Let's see. Ah, we go down around here. See now, I don't. I'm no. I'm no uh, Link's Awakening expert or anything. I've only beaten this game. Jeez, I think honestly three times at the most um, in my life. So you can watch me get pr plenty lost here and not know what to do. But great, a great game even though I haven't played it a lot, is one of my favorites. Um, so let's see where I go here. Can't go in the water around. All I remember is having to go to, some, go to the beach. Son of a beach. How you doing guys, thanks for coming in. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Ferrari Jones. And, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta like, like, like on my ass or whatever. Thank you, Ferrari Jones. Thank you, Mick Dog, And thank you, Brutal But Clean. And Gingery Buddha. And Crispy. And Josh Frilly Boy. Thank you, all you guys. Nero. All right, thank, thank you. I just did that. Thank you. God damn it. So, I can't pick these up, I guess. Can I go around this? I can't go around it. That's not good. Cool. Um, you don't know what's cuter. Oh, you're not sure what's cuter, Louis Valdez? Hey, Raymond790, uh, what's going on? Let's see uh, if I can, maybe I can push these spiked Mario things with my shield. Let's see. Ah, look at that. Puzzly. I don't remember that in the original game, but maybe that's what you do. Hey, look at this. Cool. Pick it up, Link. Hoot, hoot. Oh, no, God, not him. Shit, was he in that, too? I don't fucking remember. It's been so long since I've done it. Thank you, Schmied55. Hey, Mike, enjoy the new show. Like seeing you in front of the camera contributor again. Like seeing you as front of, in front of the camera as contributor again, like I am every Monday on James and Mike Mondays. In the future, will you be reviewing older games, consoles? Probably. Uh, I have no idea. Um, well, I mean, so far, we've, what have we done so far? We did the Sega Mini, which is basically us talking about old Sega shit. I mean, I know it's a new mini console, but that's old. 
Then we did Contra, where we talked a lot about Contra, which is an old ass franchise. Uh, so, I mean, it's gonna be a lot of like old games, new games, you know, all over the place. But I mean, like, if you're looking for like a review of like, if you're looking for like review of like, um, fucking, what's a good example right now? Uh, like, uh, uh, like I don't know, fucking know, like the Donkey Kong Two or something. Like, that's not what the show is gonna be. You know, it's not like, hey, let's review, you know, random like old game. It's more like, it's more of a discussion show, you know? Like, have a topic and a subject. So, it would, it would be more like, what are some great old games, what are some old games that have great music or something like that? And then maybe Donkey Kong, you know, Country would come up in the discussion. That's more what the show is. That sword is a liar. Oh, I, didn't, I wasn't reading what it said. Did it lie to me? Fucking, fucking sorry. Is this key, 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 key? Let's see. I probably can't get to this now either, right? Does it let me pull these up yet? Can I do this? No. Can I do this? No. All right. That's must be later. I thought I could like pull shit up. Let's see. It's weird not seeing transitions. Oh, that's true. I didn't even think of that from, to go from like screen to screen. Thank you so much. Link is not the princess. Thanks, Super Jeff. Yeah, so I. Is the power bracelet the full shit in this? Alright, so now we can chop down trees and shit. Let's go in here. Oh, hello. This is different. This is new. I don't remember this. Or maybe it is. See, I should have played this before because I don't remember the differences, really. So this is good that I'm playing this again anyway. Welcome to Sale's House of Banana. I'm Sale, and this is my house. Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. Mmm. My brother is an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run in the family. Okay. Can we break pots? A what? A what? A Zelda game where you can't break pots? The hell kind of game is this? I'm sending it back. Thank you, Nicky Pug. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's something I was supposed to do in there. But hey, I got the sword. Maybe that's all I was supposed to do is get the sword. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. This is not a speedrun. You know there's people that speedrun these games? And I think, actually, a guy I interviewed, which at one point had the high score in Donkey Kong, I don't know if he still does, Wes Copeland, but I think he was a speedrunner of this game. It's funny It's funny to me the thought of speedrunning a Zelda game, but people do it. I guess a lot of people do it. I've seen people on Twitch speedrun like Ocarina of Time and shit. Oh, I thought that was like gonna drop me into a fucking thing, like a cave or something. Uh, do you have any rare and unusual cans of food in your pantry? Um, not what I was expecting to talk about um, on my stream. The only unusual, uh, unusual cans I have would be like, I don't know, my fucking Pac-Man pasta cans or something. That's the only thing that's coming to my mind, which is also not in my pantry. That's also in a display cabinet with all my Pac-Man shit, so. Uh, I'm gonna answer no. I'm gonna plead no on that one. Huh, a tea, a keyhole. Oh, oh boy. All right, so that's a level. There you go. Pork roll. You saw a Twitch streamer beat Ocarina of Time up blindfolded? That's crazy. I believe it though. It's amazing the things people do these days. 
Nero the Simmerin, thank you so much for subbing tier one. By the way, it is still September, so you guys can still sub half price. All right, let's see. I don't know, let's just check out buildings and shit, I guess. Was I working with Cinemassacre during the days when James was under contract for Screw Attack? Yes. Why? I, well, I, d I did all the editing for all the Spike videos and Godzilla Con and stuff, so I started working for Cinemassacre since like 2007? 2007? So yes. Wait, what did that say? I wasn't reading it. Properties of Warp. I mean, the thing is, James and I were doing shit before then, but like, we didn't start making money at it until like 2007. The properties of warp points. Oh, this is just teaching, teaching me how to fucking play the game. I don't want that. You guys know I don't like to do that. Who would want to figure out how to play? That would only speed the process along, and I'm a slow runner. I'm gonna figure it out all on my own and I'm gonna get really frustrated because I don't know what to do, even though the game tells me what to do. That's the way I like to play video games. Let's do this. Whee! Thank you, Justin Garber. Thank you, Reaver. Chomp, chomp. Oh, look at this. Oh boy! Ha! Ha! We. The Wii, man, that sounds like a dildo. Dildo. Look at that little fox shit. I'm gonna fuck you up. Is all his fox friends gonna come? Oh shit, he's like pissed. He's coming after me. Fishing, oh boy. No records yet, give it a try. Sure, get out of my way. How about some fishing, little buddy? I only charge 10 rupees. Uh, okay, well I have three, so no. Because I suck. I fucking suck, all right? Is that what you're trying to, is that what you're trying to tell me? That I suck? Well, I get it. I shove my sword up your ass. Watch this, woo! Piece of shit. He's telling me that I'm fucking poor. He's like, listen, asshole. You ain't got no money. Get the fuck out of here. You suck. You don't see any fish in that pond? I don't either. Ooh, the mysterious forest. Oh, come on, owl. What, what? Hoot, hoo, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest. Okay, let's see if he tells me something that I really need to know. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted island. Okay, what, there'll be mystery here, really? I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the wind fish naps. Uh-huh. By the by, have you ever visited Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Well, I tried to go, but I needed a fucking key. Go there with a key. Well, that's what I just told you. I just told you that I needed the key. Now you're telling me that I need a key. The wind fish is watching. Hoot! Okay, well then I didn't need to talk to you. You're not helpful to me whatsoever. Everything that you just told me is information that I already know. Son of a bitch. Please stop yelling at him. He's a fucker though. <laughs> Thank you, Yolk, for the one, two, three. All right, Squido, 86, subbing tier two. Thank you. Hey, look, we got a Moblin. I like how they look. This is, this is pretty cool. Shit. Well, I can block it with a shield. Watch out, dude. I know how to do combat from Sekiro. You better fuck with me. I got those Sekiro skills. Bitch. What's going here? Am I gonna be creating my own dungeons? Um. Does this work anyway, like Mario Maker, where you guys can create dungeons and like send me codes? Because if they do that, that'd be fucking awesome. I would do that. For sure. That would be awesome, actually. 
Oh, son of a bitch. Nice. Wait, ah, ah. Son of a bitch. Da 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 da! Yeah, it looks cool. Totally radical retro games. So, is that it? No, we got more. Batty bat. Ooh, batty bat. Uh oh. Uh oh. Am I gonna fuck this up? Watch me fuck this up. I might have already fucked it up. Well, if I do, if I push that that way. No. Or maybe you can break those. I don't know if you can break these skulls or not. I guess I'm gonna find out. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, so can I not do this right now? Fuck. Wait, I'm gonna go back in and try that. Game looks decent. Yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna go back in and try it again. I wonder if this is possible right now. No, no. No. I don't really know that there's much I can do beyond. Let's see, let's just try to like. I don't think there's any, there's nothing I can really do, all right? I don't think I can get it right now. As far as I know. Oh, pulling them? That's true. I, I doubt you can pull them like this. Let's see. I don't think I can grab onto these ones. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I can. I don't think I can get it yet. I don't think I can get it yet. Oh shit, that's the... Hold up. Dude, this guy's a bitch. Give me this. Did I take that to the witch? Or am I thinking of the wrong game? Can I pass this or what? Don't you get a jump in this? Shit, see I haven't played in so long. Or am I thinking of like the rocks cape from one of the other ones? All right, I guess I'm gonna go back. Rock's Feather, was Rock's Feather in this game? Fuck. <laughs> Rock's Feather. Like, Maybe there's a way. Maybe wait, wait. Maybe there's a way. Jump is a feather I collect. Oh yeah, then there's a feather. No, it was Minish Cap that has had the cape, right? I'm thinking of like all different things. Let's see, like that's all I have. So I can't get through this. I'm trapped forever. That's what it seems like. I feel like I'm trapped forever. <laughs> hey, at least I got hit him. Maybe, maybe if I kill this fucking dude, maybe something, maybe he'll turn around. Let's wait for the dude to turn around. Maybe that's the, oh, you fuck. I want to, first of all, I just want to see if I can kill this fucking moblin. There we go. All right, he didn't give off anything. That's good. Well, let's just do this then. What if I just do this to go back through? Are they coming back? They're coming back. Shit, 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 shit. All right, 
I don't care about him. Ooh, fairy fountain. Look at, look at the difference of this fairy compared to the original game. <laughs> they've, they've updated it slightly. Wow. I wonder, actually, now I'm wondering what does it look like in, like, the Game Boy Link's Awakening. I don't remember. Sure it doesn't look like that. Graphics are real nice. I, they, I really like the style. They could, they could do this again, and I would not complain. I wish I had the fucking, um, the boots to run into this and see if, like, if something will come out. You son of a bitch. This is fun. So this will be another title that everybody's going to want for the Switch. For sure. This is going to be one of those games that if you own a Switch, you, you, you have this game. Hey, look, it's me. With the raccoon eyes. <laughs> As raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Oh, yeah? You want me to put some dust up your nose? You're gonna be lost. Oh, he just, like, stuck me wherever. That's some Ocarina of Time shit right there. Where they, like, send you back. Oh, that's like a fucking Triforce piece. You got a piece of power, you can feel the energy flowing through you. Whoa, it's like Berserk. Dude, that's... That, now that's different. I like that. That's pretty neat. Can I break this with that? That'd be nice. Oh wait, if I'm like crazy power... Oh, uh, I thought maybe. Because I was like berserked out. That it would... Uh... So that's, that's interesting. I don't think that's something that's in the, the original game. Like the original Link's Awakening. So that's actually pretty cool so it's like it's like a remake basically it's just it's not exactly the same which i which i like you need to visit visit the witch to the right before you can dust the raccoon do you remember this game game well it's been a while since i've done it The witch to the right. What's that? This, this is the house we start at, right? I think this, this is the starting house. Do you guys like? Do you guys like watching me play this? Because I know it way less than I know. Like, <laughs> I know I know Link's Awakening way way less than I know Zelda one, two, or three. Because I played those a ton, and Link's Awakening, like I said in the beginning of the stream, I've only beaten like. I want to say three times, so I don't know it well. Ooh, what's going on here? No hints, tips, or spoilers, please. Hey, I don't mind, honestly. If you if you want to give tips, I don't really care. That's told. I'm fine with that. Hey, welcome. See something you like? Just bring it here. Um, yeah, I like this, but I don't have enough money, so let's put that right back. I like this too. 200. I don't have enough money for that. God damn it. Fuck that guy. I should just shoplift. Thank you, Ozzy Man, for the sub. There's a ton of Mario enemies and references in the game. Getting a bunch of rupees and do the crane game with everyone. Is that Paul? By the way, let's see. Well, it seems after you save, you will start at the last place you saved. Sure. Let's try this house. Oh, okay, thanks. With four boys who look alike, even I get confused sometimes. By the way, my baby wants a Yoshi doll. I saw one at the Trendy Game 
but I couldn't get it. I want a Yoshi doll, too. Oh, Link to the Past. Can I talk? Can I talk to the goddamn raccoon? Wait, I have the Toadstool. The Ballad of the Windfish, sure. Okay. I don't remember that. I do remember this though, this phone thing. This isn't this isn't the game, right? Hello. Alright, wants me to go to the library and read all that shit. Thank you, Zeph. Sounded like the little mermaid for a second. I know, I was gonna be like, uh, uh, Definitely sounded like that. Wart is in the game. Is he? I don't remember where that is. I do remember Mario like things being in the game, but I don't remember I don't remember Wart. Now I wanna find Wart. I wanna see Wart on the Nintendo Switch, are you kidding me? Hey, there's the music. Is that the first time you actually hear like the Zelda theme like on the Switch? I guess technically they play it in the Breath of the Wild, but it doesn't sound like this. This sounds like legit like Zelda theme. What's up, Proto Shield? CBI. I would do that. Actually. I, sh I actually should. I mean, I got that fucking modded CDI, so it's like... I probably should. Well, if I had a bomb, we could do that. This looks like almost like it's something, but it's not, I guess. Thank you, Wheelie. Or Weejack. Wee Wee Jay. Sorry, I do not know how to say your name, but thank you for the sub. W-E-A-J-Y. Try going back to the forest. You're waiting for the Zelda CDI stream? I mean, I could do it. If I was going to stream the Zelda CDI stuff, I mean, what should I start with? What, like, uh, Link's. What is it? Link's. No, Zelda's Adventure. Link's. Well, there's Wanda Gamelon. Wait. Zelda's Adventure, Wanda Gamelon, and Faces of Evil. Those are the three. Um, I guess I would do, I don't, I don't know, Wanda Gamelon, start with that one. Is that, is that the one with Link on the cover? Faces of Evil, yeah, I guess I'd start with that one. Shit, you little shits. Fuck off. Hmm, 
Here we go, I guess I wasn't here before. If I need that shit, the glove or whatever really badly. Now that dude right there, that, he's from Link to the Past. I think they added that. Oh, here we go. This is what I needed to do, huh? I think I found what I needed to do. Oh, this is the witch. Wow, that looked different than I... Wow. Man, I really... Now that I think about it, I really should have streamed Link's Awakening before this came out. Because now I'm like, oh, I don't really remember everything. Because I think, I, I think we did this like three or four years ago or something, James and Mike Monday, so that was the last time I remember. You got some magic powder. Open the subscreen with plus and set it either X or Y. Okay. Let's set it X. Now we're going to the raccoon and we're going to give him his magic dust. Look at that, how that looks. I really like how that looks. This looks really good. This looks really, really good. By the way, um, this is this is basically top-down Zelda. Not really top-down, as not as top-down as I'd like it, but it's pretty much top-down Zelda on the Switch, like on a console. So it's like this is kind of remarkable because like the last time they did something like this it was um link between worlds but it wasn't on a console and that was the one thing about it. link between worlds was good but it wasn't on a fucking console which it should have been so they really are they really did something good here you know this is this is really about time they fucking did this because all we've seen for a long time is, you know, like 3D Zelda stuff. Like Breath of the Wild and whatever, which is fine, but like this is this is classic style Zelda. So, now if they can just do this but make a new game that isn't just a remake of an old game, then I'd be really happy. All right. If this is Tingle, I'm turning the fucking system off. If he, like, turns into Tingle, because that sounded like him for a second. Okay. This looks like a Mario. Terran, but it looks like Mario. All right, dude. All right, so now they let me keep going. Yes. Is it the key? Motherfucker, motherfucker, it's the fucking key. All right, uh. The script in this game so far through Dungeon 2 is basically identical to the Game Boy version, but I love the improvements in the enemies and the shield going to the shoulder buttons is awesome. That is cool, I do, I do like the shield going to the shoulder. I definitely agree with that. Is the owl in the fucking Game Boy version? I don't remember. I don't remember this. Maybe it is. To the point to where, like, does he come down right there in the Game Boy version? Is he, like, actually? Like, I, I don't fucking remember. Oh my god, we got like likes. I guess I need to go. This is not where I need to be going. This is cool though, that I made it up here. I'll come back to that. Can I cut this down? No, fucker. See, I need to go back. Sadly, he is. <laughs> I also, in Ocarina of Time, I don't like that fucking owl at all. I don't think anybody does though. I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a big, uh, I don't think that's a bold statement. Nobody likes that fucking owl. Gabora, Kapora, Gabora, Gamora, Gozora. That motherfucker. 
Fuck that, dude. I can destroy the signs later. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna get a better sword or something. Octorok. That's, see, that's what an Octorok should look like. Good job. I like when they actually make shit look like how it's supposed to fucking make. That sentence made no sense. I like how they... I like when they make the enemies look like how they should. He never gives good advice. No, he doesn't. Janet2433 says that the owl sucks. I agree. Have I seen the Eric Stoltz footage from Back to the Future? Yeah, I've seen all that, sure. I love Back to the Future. It's one of my favorite movies. I like the whole trilogy. All three movies are great. I know a lot of people don't like the third. I think they're all great, all three of them. And I know they're going to do it at some point. They're going to do some kind of remake of Back to the Future. It's inevitable that they're going to do it. But um, I hope it doesn't happen because that's... When we talk about one movie that does not need to fucking be remade, it's that. Like, don't. Don't do it. They will, though. Eventually it will happen. It will happen eventually. way you know i just realized too this is gonna be funny but i happen to have a ghostbuster shirt on right now for no real reason but um i was thinking uh i was going to mention a thing about ghostbusters did you guys hear about the new ghostbuster movie you know that's coming out at some point i don't know what it's called but it's like the one that's supposed to have the original cast in it you know that one is it just called ghostbuster is there a name for it Anyway, that movie um, that they're making, n news this week, is, is it just called Ghostbusters 3? I mean, um, so the news this week is that Bill Murray, once again, is not going to be in the movie, <laughs> which we've been hearing for, you know, since uh, since Ghostbusters 2, I think we've been hearing that go that Bill Murray won't be in Ghostbusters 3. So now they're just like, it, you know, I think they thought they were going to get him in this one for whatever reason. And then, then I, you know, whatever happened, happened. And now apparently he's not going to be in it again. So <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny. I, he's probably like laughing to himself. He's like, they're like, all right, we're going to actually make Ghostbusters 3 now, Bill, you know? And he's, and he's like, all right, well, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably, you know, you can count on me or whatever. And then that's probably, I can imagine something like that. And then like it comes time to shoot the movie and he's just like, uh, you know, I, I'm not doing it. Oh my God. You know what? And the fucking thing is, like, with Bill Murray, like, he doesn't want to do it. There is, an, there is an interview with Bill Murray. You guys can find it. It's, like, the, right after they did the first Ghostbusters movie. And it's, like, from what, whatever, whenever ever that was out, 84. It's pro from, like, 84 or 85 or something like that. And right in that one, they're all talking about how they don't like doing sequels. You know, they're, like, all talking about how they don't like sequels. Then they go ahead and they make the sequel, and Bill Murray's in the sequel. I, I think he didn't even want to do that one. Then that movie, like, basically didn't do nearly as well as the, as the first movie. And then um, after that, ever since then, he's just like, I don't want to do any more. I don't think he—you can even tell he's pretty checked out in Ghostbusters 2. Like, he didn't even really want to do that one, but he did it. And then fucking— you know, ever since then, it's like they're just trying to get him in the movie, and it's like, you know what? He doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to do it. And I, I heard, uh, fucking, they apparently like strong armed him into being that other, into that other one. Apparently, from rumors that I've heard. I don't know if that's true or not, but like the dude does clearly doesn't want to fucking do it. Just like leave him alone. You know, he 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 doesn't want to do it. 
right? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't blame Bill Murray. I blame them for just fucking keep keeping on him for doing it. If he wanted to do it, he would have done it. You know, so if he doesn't want to fucking do it, like leave him, leave him alone. And then Adam Perch says he doesn't need it. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need it, and he doesn't want to do it. So it's just like leave him alone. And Autobot Two Thousand says it's not what you want, Bill. It's what we want. Exactly. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't want it. So he doesn't give a shit. He's like, I don't want to fucking do it. Leave me alone. Pretty much. So. He's probably so annoyed of being asked for since when would when did Ghostbusters 2 come out? Um, 87 or 88 or something like that. He's probably so fucking annoyed of hearing about it that he'll probably never fucking do it unless they fucking like legally fucking make him like do it or something. Thank you Scraggle Rock. And if he's and if he's like legally like like has to do it like for some le like legal reason, man, that that is fucking shitty because it's like how, how much fun does that take out of it to be like, oh, well, if you don't do it, you're going to get fucking sued. That really makes you want to, you know, be creative and, like, be in a movie. It's like, just give up already. Anyway, so that was the news this week. A big fucking surprise. The Beakless statue is saying something you can't make out. Okay. Can I push these or something? Oh, I can push these. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hey, look, it's the guys from, well, okay, for one thing, they're from Mario, I guess, but there's enemies that are like that from uh, Link to the Past, like those turtles, but you got to use the hammer in Link to the Past. Thank you, Stuffed Meatball. Hey, guys, thanks for all these subs. If I missed anybody, sorry. Oh, here's, like, the Mario sections. It's the Mario Brothers and Plummins that are a game. It's not like the others who get all the fame. Hey, there they are. Goombas! Aren't they cute? Ho ho! Ho ho ho! Do 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 do. I need it. Oh, is the jumping item in this level? It's gotta be. Or is it gonna be right here? I bet it's gonna be right here, right? Maybe? Oh shit! There it is, Rock's Feather. Motherfucker. All you motherfuckers. Don't tell me what I should do. Is it soup yet? Is it? Woo! There we go. Well, that's gonna make my whole life easier. See, they put that there to tell you. Look at this, look at this. Woo! Is there? Wait a second. Hold up. Is this like laggy? Or is that just the way the jump is? It's very, um, it's a very slow jump like that. It's not lag, it's just, it's just the way it is. It's, there's a lot of frames of animation there, I guess. Uh, will we be releasing another James and Mike Monday Blu-ray? And if so, can I credit myself as motherfucker Mike on the packaging? Um, I don't know about doing cursing on packaging of a product that you're selling, for one thing. I don't know. Um, also, I wouldn't want to do that, because Motherfucker Mike is a character from Board James, so that wouldn't make any fucking sense. That would be the bigger problem. So, no, I won't be doing that. Um... But as far as another Blu-ray, uh, maybe, I don't know, possibly. There's no plans to as of right now, but it's not off the table either. So maybe, thank you for the question. Oh, you little shit. It's time for 4K. Well, we don't even shoot the fucking thing in 4K. Let me tell you guys something. If you've ever seen yourself, if you if you ever see yourself in 4K, you will never want. You don't want to see yourself in 4K. Let's just put it that way. Oh, this is what I gotta do. Duh. Like this, right? Won't he walk on that? Oh, you motherfucker! Really? 
I thought that he would. Or maybe I just have to. Do I just have to like just jump on it? Maybe oh, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe I have to jump on it. That's what I have to do. Okay. You bitch. Okay, I got a kick. Stalfos, guys. Stalfos and Keese. Oh boy. Open up. Oh. Ooh. Aha. So, yeah, I had a key. Yeah, it definitely looks great. They did a good job. I'm, I'm pleased so far. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, boy. That guy looks cool. I think he's in the commercial. I think they show a shot of this. Am I really going to die here? I might. Nope. I'll take a heart though, dude. Or an acorn fairy. Um. Oh, is this a warp back to somewhere? Is that what that is? I think it is. I'm gonna keep going though. Oh shit, boss. Eh? Mario time. Mario Brothers. That was it, just this. Okay. Well, maybe that's the take right before the boss. Hey, games, what's going on? Elmo's back. I hope Elmo's not back. Mike, how has the frame rate been holding up? Um, well... I don't have this plugged in with like RF or anything, so I mean, there's, there would be no way to know. The only way you can s tell true, true, you know, pure quality uh, frame rate is if you have your consoles hooked up with RF. So there, there's no way you could tell. And the frame rate. I wonder if I have to kill every dude to get something in here. I would like to get the bomb to open up that fucking door right there. That'd be another thing. Oh, Moldorm. Mini Moldorm. Hmm. Bombs must come relatively soon. Did all this, did all this. But did I go down? Oh, this is the beginning. So that takes you back to the beginning. Okay. I guess, you know what? Could I just, can I try to knock these off the cliff? Let's do that and see if anything appears. Aha. Another key. Cool. Well, now I'm glad I came back there. door. Aha, uh -huh, I gotta go up there. That'll open. I gotta get across that. So can I just, like, literally jump? Yeah. Oop. Unlock this. I think. Yep. Tell me this is, tell me this is the boss key. Oh, yeah. This isn't a very big dungeon, is it? 
The nightmare key? The fuck you talking about nightmare key? That's a boss key, bitch. Did they call it nightmare key before? I don't remember that. Maybe it was. I feel like that's now. Did they call it that? I guess they did, huh? I don't remember them calling it Nightmare Key, but okay. Let's see if I remember the boss at all, because I don't off the top of my head. Um, did I really just fucking get hit? I wasn't looking. Buzz, buzz. Outsider. Moldorm. Oh, you Moldorm. Oh shit, I gotta wait for that shit to come back, huh? There it is. Cool. Cool. Bitch. Wow, that was it, huh? What a boss. What a boss fight. That's cool, though. This is good. I, I like this. I'm happy. Good job. And not to keep reiterating the same point, but I'd love to see a new franchise out of Nintendo. It would be nice. I guess they tried with Splatoon, huh? I think that was their last really big effort. Has, question for the chat. Has there been something from Nintendo since Splatoon where it's been a brand new franchise that where they really tried. I feel like I would it'd be in my head. I mean, I know there's games they've come out with, but I mean like by the way, I mean Nintendo developed, not just like on the fucking thing. Like they made the fucking thing. Arms. Yeah, but I mean Arms is like what else? I mean, Arms isn't like Arms is not Donkey Kong. Arms is not Zelda. Arms is not Metroid. <laughs> People are like laughing in the chat. They're like, LOL, arms. <laughs> I'm talking about like a real effort. One, two, switch. <laughs> yeah. Pikmin. Pikmin's been around since like fucking GameCube, hasn't it? By the way, we just hit 420 viewers. Ha ha ha. Yes. Okay. Are you happy, chat? Y1TT wants me to make that announcement. Now all the viewers are going to drop off. Thank, thanks to you. Because I just had to fucking talk about fucking 420. Can we all just stop with the fucking 420-69 shit? It's, it's not funny... Um, naturally, and it's not funny ironically. It's not funny no matter, like, what way you say it. It's just not funny. I think we can all stop. Let's, let's all agree right here, right now, that no matter what way you spin it, it's not funny. Neelix? What about Neelix? Shouldn't you be saying something about Zelda? What about fucking... I don't know. Neelix from Voyager. Yeah, Neelix from Voyager. Exactly. What other Neelix? Top ten... Give me ten other Neelixes that exist. Neelix from Voyager, question mark. I see. I see in the chat. No, the other Neelix. <laughs> Remember when Neelix took a bath? <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, you know what I need to do? I need to stream Elite Force is what I need to do. I need to do some fucking Star Trek Elite Force streaming. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so I beat uh, level one so far, which is cool. The graphics look like clay. They do, and it looks awesome.
I'm assuming they wanted me to go in here. But this fucking book, it's like dark secrets. Yeah, let's read some dark secrets. Oh god damn, fuck you. Where's that, um, bow wow thing? Was it below where I was? I mean, let's see. She's like worried about shit. Oh, because he's fucking gone. That's why. I didn't think it was that far away. Yep, yep. So, like, at some point, I'll find it, right? <laughs> Let's just keep going. Oh, I don't want to do the fishing shit. Let's go, let's go up and around. I remember, um, there's, like, a whole other way to go after you get through the forest, so. Mike, can I give a hint or no? You can say whatever you want, yeah. I don't really care. Let me go up this way. Let's see if this is the way to go. Oh, you motherfucker! If he takes my shield, don't take my shield, dude. You like, like, fuck. Can I get through that? Oh, you can. Wow. Oh, God, wait. After you hit that, you can't walk through it? Fuck, fuck. Motherfucker. Damn perspective. Yeah, if it was more overhead, that'd be nice. Why do they have to do that? That's what they did with, uh, I better, I guess, save it, right? Um, although I'm sure it auto saves, but I'm used to like Game Boy era. Um, that's when I fell out of Warcraft. They did the same fucking thing. It's this exact perspective. They took, they take the overhead and then they, they, they make it like this. It's like kind of behind your back and it drove me fucking crazy. Same fucking thing. Like why not? Is there a button to make it like overhead actually? That's one, that, there you go, that's one complaint. Just make it fucking overhead. Why does it have to be like, not overhead? Can I go around like this? I can. Let's see if I can kill this thing. Nope. Maybe I can do this shit. Yeah, this, perf yeah, this perspective kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Like, the game looks fantastic, but like, Maybe there's something you can do though to make it like. See now it kind of goes. You're. St I'm still not used to auto saving. I'm not either. It's great when it does it. So I gotta get to this level somehow. I mean, it's doable getting through there. It's just 
not the ideal perspective. What's up, Rule Tech? Am I supposed to actually, like... Do I have to talk to this guy? I guess I better. Does it remind you with the per with the blur perspective? Shit, sorry. God damn it! I can't like look at the chat for one fucking second. Fuck off of me. Oh, let's see, guys, are right back to you. Jesus Christ! Why does that take so long? So you can't jump over these flowers. I thought maybe you could jump over these flowers. This, that doesn't work, does it? No, okay, that doesn't work. just like not this way at all all right so you so you can't you definitely can't i don't think jump those uh these plants i'm just gonna get out of this area i think there's something else i'm gonna have to do before we come here i probably went too far i guess
I know about getting the Bow Wow thing, but we gotta find it. Oh, well, I can grab this immediately. Well, actually, you know what? I can get up here now. That takes me right around. They said something about moblins, so maybe the motherfucker motherfuckers over here. Let's see what's up. Let's see what this is. Oh, is this the Ocarina of Time shit? Are they putting into this? That looks like damp. They come back there later, I guess. It looks like I don't know. It looks like the grave there. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm just saying. It kind of looked like them. Try this. Or it's damp, damp egg. I don't know how to say his fucking name. I don't think they pronounce it in the game. Because they don't like fucking speak, so I don't know how to fucking say his name. The E is silent. Well, if the E is silent, then that would be right, wouldn't it? Oh, that's all I want you to do? Thought you had to get around his backside. You pronounce it like a moist cunt. It's pronounced dump. give me that thing. Fuck that. Where is it? That's fucking bullshit. Oh, wait. No, it's still kind of there. Alright. The thing flowed in, it flew into the fucking wall. So, like... Oh, uh, wait. There. Cool. Alright, so now he's coming with me. Come on. Stupid dog. Whatever. Bow wow. The fuck's happening now? If that owl comes, I'm gonna be. Oh my god! Did you know that you have a dog chain chomp attached to you? Hoot! Hoot! They need a patch, and it's called the fucking app, like, get rid of the fucking owl patch. All right, can I, like, control this fucker somehow? Or is he just do nothing? All right, I guess he doesn't take care of rocks. Let's see. Hmm. 
Maybe he takes care of enemies? Good. Now I gotta get back to the swamp area. Swamp ass. I think we go around this way, right? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Is this right? I think it might be. Oh wow, he actually did something. Good job, ass fuck. Good job. Arts. Eat the target. Oh, he will, he will eat the fish. There we go. Good dog. Bow wow. I think it'll eat the big plants. I doubt that. That'd be sweet though. You could go eat that plant. That'd be great. Good. All right, here we go. He's gonna do his job. Nice! That's all I wanted in life. And now, is he gonna stick with me? Or do I leave him? Okay. Well, at least we made it here. This is sweet. Not gonna open. This open? No. All right, hang on. Well, the key's gonna be in there. Maybe I can't do this yet. Yo, can I not do this part yet? Because I maybe I need to come back here if I... Let's see if I can use the powder, yeah. Okay. Not on that. Oh, maybe the powder will light the... Uh, Oh shit, that lights it. All right, cool. Cool. I was gonna say, I didn't think the fucking powder did that. I remember when I found out the powder, um, like how useful of a thing the powder is in like Link to the Past. Who are you fooling? Who are you trying to be? Who the hell is this dude? I don't remember this fucking asshole. Yay! That's cool. I did always love that this had a jump. Do, 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 do. Getting keys left and right. This is pretty good. Oh, you son of a bitch. Hmm. I got all kinds of keys. Ah, uh, there's probably, let's see, let's clear out the room and see if I get anything else. Mm, nope. Unless I, I don't think I can pull yet, right? Something probably happens there, I guess. Push these together on this and maybe something. Sweet. Mario time. Let's check it out. Do, 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 do. They should actually have the Mario Underground music there. Do, 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 
I can play it. I can play it for you too. Fucking bats. Keys. You bitch. Well, nobody's fault but my own. Let's try that one again. They want you to do that, I guess. Did I even need- I don't know if I needed to actually like even bother lighting those, but I did it. Anyway. Um, fuck. Oh, I bet you I'm supposed to fucking deflect the things back at him or something, right? If he throws a bomb. He doesn't seem like he wants to throw another bomb, so I don't know. Oh, I thought, I thought if he threw it, I could like clink it back at him. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Pwned. Oof. Unfortunately, no. Let's just try this. Mm. We'll go around. Let's compare this remake with the Final Fantasy VII remake. How is the Final Fantasy VII remake? I don't know anything about that. Thank you so much. Oh my god, hang on a second. Uh, thank you so much, Retro Gaming Night. Appreciate that for gifting all those subs uh, out to uh, Odd for Life, Woogie Poo 2013, BK DBY, Mr. Lucky Frog, Do Ray Egon, or Burger King Daddy, is it? If you guys got a gift sub from Retro Gaming Night, Please say thank you to Retro Gaming Night. Thank you. All right, back to this. if I have to do that for this door to spin, but I'm just doing, I've been doing it anyway, so. All right, I'm just gonna do more evading. Like, fucking. It's like when he throws that bomb, I'm not sure what to do. Oh, well, I fucking, that didn't even take that many hits anyway. I thought that was gonna be worse than that. So never mind. Who's going to Area 51 tomorrow? Is that tomorrow, that Area 51 shit? That, that goes down tomorrow? I thought that dude was gonna like be like way more difficult than that. He was like not a problem. It's sucking me hard. Yay. This is fun. I'm gonna wait because I don't want to get sucked too hard. That, that enemy, yeah, that enemy is called the big sucker. No, really, though, about the Area 51 thing. Is that tomorrow? 
You can't go because you have a meeting at Area 52. Piano keys. No, don't. It, it is? Okay, Tom Green says it is. Okay, wow, so that's tomorrow. I guess we're gonna be hearing about that. All right, so I guess people are already like going there and shit, huh? Are people already like camping out or whatever the fuck people are doing? Fucking do the right direction. Is that it? Okay. Oh fuck, the power bracelet. Finally. Well, that's gonna make my, me much happier. Do you have to actually equip the fucking thing or is it just like, no, you just have it. All right, thank God. Oh my God, thank God. That just made everything in my life so much happier. Thank you fucking Jesus fucking Christ. Now I love everything. I don't love everything, but I'm a little bit happier. Um, hmm. What if I do some of this shit? We're gonna go like this. And we're gonna get this shit out of my fucking face. Look at all this you can do. There's so much. We're breaking pots. We're breaking pots in Zelda on the Switch. What else do you want out of me? Really? Are you guys satisfied with breaking pots in Zelda on Switch? I mean, there's not much more that I can do for you here on a live stream. I mean, really? Like, what, what do you want out of me? Can, I, can he make that? No, he can't make that. I bet you wanted more than me doing that, though. And that I wouldn't blame you. What if I do this and... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Boom. There. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. I like the way the bats look. Everything looks good. Like, the... The way the like, green Stalfos even looks. Like, he's cool. What does he stomp on the ground or something? He's cool. I like it. I like what they did. That, this thing is like a timer. Oh, it sounded like it for a second, maybe not. Oh my God, is that a Poles voice? Yo, Poles voice. Right? We got a fucking Pole's voice here. I have never seen Pole's voice with those graphics. That is crazy to see a Pole voice look like that. I never thought that they would look quite like that. So they're basically just fucking bunny rabbits, huh? That is so funny. I mean, I guess I always figured they kind of would look like that, but they look a little different than what I would have imagined. Huh. Pretty cool though to see that. Yeah, I think these graphics are fantastic though. I have to say like, this is so fitting for Zelda. Obviously in my opinion, because I'm saying it. <laughs> do I have to, here, here's what you gotta do. Um, like, I think this is the perfect style for Zelda. Oh, okay, so we got it to the boss room, but I don't have the fucking thing yet. Okay. Well, back at the beginning, there was a door. I think I didn't go in. We'll get there eventually. Maybe. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, the spin, spin attack for Shy Guys. That might work. Let's go this way. Also, like, oh, you can't go over. Can I push these in? I can do this shit. Oh, you little bitch. I guess you have to throw these out of the, at the pole's voice. They're so cute. I don't really want to kill them. And they're one of my favorite, like, retro. If I go in, up and down, will they come back? They will. You fuck. <laughs> Did you hear his voice? Oh, he, did, he didn't make the same noise. Hold up. I didn't need to do that anyway, because I, I see. There's, like, extra things. That was stupid of me to do that anyway. Oh, wait, you can't push it like that? All right, well, whatever. Maybe there's nothing there. His, his voice there, though. He was like, Hah! Like, really, Link? What a hero you are. Hah! Never make that noise again, Link. You're, you're gonna be throw, thrown out of the hero business. Alright, this is just not... I'm just so glad that I have that. Okay, this takes me back to the beginning, right? Which I actually want. Do I have to do the spin? Uh, you do. All right, this is what I've been waiting for. Is is this the key? Is this the boss key? Oh, okay. Or not. I have money now, though. We're gonna go this way. Oh, you motherfucking traps. Look at how the traps are designed. Even the traps look like they got faces. It's funny. Ooh. Spooky. Spooky's house of jump scares. What the hell is that? A piece of cheese? Stone beak. Oh, you put that on the owl statue. Okay. Well, I mean, that's cool, but it wasn't, like, the fucking boss key, so that's a problem. Do-do-do-do. 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 Mike played Spooky Sizes Jump Scares. Yeah, we did a James and Mike Monday on it. Pretty sure, didn't we? I need another key now. God damn it. So. Well, I have the map, don't I? Hold up. Um, alright, so. Gee, I don't. Everything seems open. I have to get in that room. This is the boss door. I haven't been in this room, though. Oh, this is where... Maybe that's where you take the Triforce. No, it'll be like a piece, uh, an instrument or something. So we have to get to there from somewhere. But there's no other key. Unless maybe it's like kill everyone in the room to get a key. So... Um... All right, I'll just keep looking around. What the hell's this? I don't know what that is. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out someday, I swear. Ha! <laughs> there, that scream. It's like Baby Link. How about this? 
Oh, there's my key. There's my key. And give me that. And we're gonna go back to two left and down to that. Okay. Cool. I like the dungeons. You know what? You know what would be cool? I mean, if they're gonna make another one, I, like I guess they do the Oracle games after this. But like, if they're planning to do that, but really, please, I really would rather just uh, like make a whole new one if they're gonna do another one. But this is definitely cool. Oh wait, this ha this has to be it. If it's not, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, you motherfucker! And compass. Suck it. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. All right. So, um. There's nothing on the, unless, maybe it's underneath. Like maybe I have to go like, oh wait, no, fucking, it's right there. I didn't even see it. There, sorry, I just totally didn't even see it. All right, so I have to go. Oh, you motherfucker, you know what? Th you know what room that is? That's the room with the poles voice where I was trying to push the thing. So I do have to do that. See, I knew, I just fucking, Okay, I do have to figure that out. All right, all right, I got this now. I just gotta figure that out. Get back there. Then that'll probably have the big key and then we can finish this out. All right. That's what they want me to do. I didn't know they definitely wanted that, but they do definitely want it. And who is it when they say they? You know who it is as far as this game's concerned? Miyamoto. So when I say they, I, I guess I mean Miyamoto. Can I just go? You can just go, you don't have to fucking do that shit. What's that? Oh shit, you know what? Honest oh fuck. I'm gonna go around here because I wanna get the heart for one thing. Now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go down the steps. Cause I think that will take me kind of near where I wanna be, I believe. Or even possibly to where I wanna believe. To where I want to believe. I can't speak. To where I want to be. God. You don't need me to actually know how to speak, do you? Nobody said that that was a requirement for being a Twitch partner, being able to speak. Quite frankly, that was not in my contract. Nowhere did it say you have to be well spoken. So I think I'm good. All right, so now with this shit. Okay, so certain ones you can push and certain ones you can't. Can I like push these first? That, that won't push, this won't push. That'll push. I kind of have to push this out of the way to to kill this fucking dude. And you can't push these. Maybe the owl knows. Maybe the owl does know. Fuck the owl. The owl can suck it. Maybe I can throw this through this. Oh. Motherfucker. Well, I killed the dude. 
You can do that. How about this? Come on. I did uh -uh. Son of a bitch. Oh, you fucking, I hate you, motherfucker. So there's a specific order you have to do it in. Alright, there's the thing. Do, 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 do. Now, what's the easiest way to get back? God. Well, I'm gonna try to go up and right and see like where that takes me. That's what I'm gonna do. Bitch! Good, good, good. No, stay away from me. Doot, 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 doot. That thing could definitely go a little faster. It's Pooh's honey pot. Winnie the Pooh is an unlockable character. That's the DLC. All right. Well, we're oh, we're here. Okay. I thought I was gonna have to. I didn't expect to get that yet. Is this gonna be an Octorok? No, it's a clown dude. It's like a genie, actually. It's a clown genie. Well, Alibaba had them 40 thieves, Shahrazad had a thousand tails. But Master, you and luck us up our sleeves, you had a brand of magic never fails. Fuck me. You got some power in your corner now. Well, I hope that worked, smashing against the wall. I hope smashing it against the wall is will hurt it, but I don't know. Got a brand of magic never fails. I'm gonna assume like that's working. Hey, he broke. Okay. You broke my bottle. You make me hopping mad. Oh, shit. Oh, Lord. No, no, bitch. You're not allowed. What if I threw magic potion on this genie bitch? I'm not gonna bother because I don't want to die and do something stupid, so we're not gonna do that. Here's my guess, next Teddy's dead. That's my guess. Nope. Great balls of fire, am I right? Oh, I'm so sorry. Magic for a genie. Should I try it? I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. Nope, didn't work. I think it was getting hits. I really shouldn't have done that because now I'm almost dead. That was really dumb. I knew I shouldn't have tried it. 
Dumb, dumb, dumb. It's the Scolari brothers. There it is. Fortunately, we did it. Do 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 do. What a happy game. All right, we got our heart, and now we're gonna go get. What musical instrument is it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Uh, it's the uh, seashell horn of Zeus. It's a thingamabob. It looks a little like a vagina to me. <laughs> it's the cooch horn. <laughs> we got the cooch horn. We got the cooch horn. The magical cooch horn at that. All right. Great vagina joke, Mike. Thank you so much. See, it's pretty, I thought it was pretty good. You know, coming to my streams, you will find top-notch comedy entertainment. What do you want uh, at, you know, middle of the night? You want top-notch comedy 24 hours a day? All right, that was that. I don't know if, uh, how do you kill these bigger plants? Because there's definitely, you know what? I bet, like, later when you get a bomb, it's probably the bomb, huh, to get through that. Oh, no, this this dude takes it out. Come on. Fucker McGee. He takes it out. What do we got? Rupees. That's it? Just 50 rupees? You can do more than that. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Good. All right, so we got through le two levels. Definitely enjoying this so far. Um, but kind of like, how could I not be? Like, I already know that I love this game. So it's kind of like, oh, really, Mike? You love Link's Awakening? It's like, duh. It's like if they re-release Super Mario Brothers 3 on Switch, which they should do, by the way. If they're gonna start doing this shit, just fucking put Mario 3. Just give it like some graphics like this or something and just fucking re-release it. Like, why not? Why the fuck not? You know everybody would buy it, so just fucking do it. Just fucking do it. Just do it. Do what I say, Nintendo. Do what I fucking say. Can they just release a better dock? Come on. That's all I really want. Well, actually, no. I want a lot more than that, but that would be that would be nice. Um, let's see. So, what is next? You know what's next? I'll tell you what's next. I'm going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back after these messages. I am back once again. I am playing Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, pretty cool. I'm enjoying it so far. So that's what we're doing. Uh, before we continue on, you guys know that I've been on a big box PC kick lately, so I'm going to show you some more that I got. Um, who remembers King's Quest? We got some King's Quest games here. I think I've shown you guys my copy of 5 before, but this is King's Quest 3. Right? I'd like to stream some of these at some point. Sierra. You know what I gotta say? I love the Sierra logo. Um, and you can look at the, what the graphics look like on that. Very early. Very early one. The first one I had um, back then, I had King's Quest V. That's the one I had. I didn't have this one. So I'd like to check out some of the earlier ones someday. But uh, I think this is the most famous one right here. This is King's Quest um, six. So I believe this is the one that most people consider to be the best. I think. Um, but uh, but the Sierra logo 
Check out the Sierra logo. It's just like one of the best like logos ever. I, I just, I love their logo. It's just that to me right there spells out like just nostalgia. This is a nostalgia trip. Like also I love the graphics in this period when graphics like looked like that and around, what was this probably like 93 or something? Let's say 92, like PC graphics, 92, 93, I'm very nostalgic for. That's when I was really into that. Like, about, like, yeah, when, uh, yeah, like, 1991, 92, 93, like, that era is when I started really getting into, like, PC gaming stuff. So, also, I don't know if you guys remember Heroes of Might and Magic, or it was Might and Magic, and then I think Heroes of Might and Magic was a spin-off offshoot of that, I think. Now, those games I didn't really play much. Um, King's Quest I played... I played five. Um, and I think I played a little bit of four once, but not much. Um, and I played Space Quest, so I played those. But uh, I, did, I didn't really play these, uh, but I did get a copy. This is Heroes of Might and Magic, which that would be cool to maybe stream someday as well. Um, so, let's see if there's any, any goodies in here I can show you guys. Uh, some instruction booklets and stuff. They always used to come with such nice like books and booklets and, and things like that. And they always had like art artwork. Like if you saw the like the uh, Warcraft 2, you know, or Diablo, I guess any of, any of that stuff. Like Blizzard, Blizzard always had really good really good art and these these giant booklets. Hey, let's look at what the booklet for Link's Awakening looks like. Ready? Oh, wow. Wow, they did such effort. For such, you know, a beloved franchise, you know, so much effort went into, look, Zelda, like, Zelda, I'm surprised there's even a fucking, like, you know, like, two years from now, it's going to come like this. That, that's, that's about the amount of effort. And you know what, like, for Zelda, too, like, Zelda is, like, it's a very, like, artsy game. You would think they could put, like, something inside to be, like, hey, we care to some degree. Packaging is not good. Look, like, look, look at the, look at this. This is what you get in fucking 1992. You get fuck. You get this. You get this. You get. Look at all this sh fucking shit. You get. Look at look at this. You get this. You get like a big fucking like oh, like almost like a the like comic book of like ads for different games and stuff. You get a you know. You get th different things to fill out. What else do they put in here? They got what is this? Uh, like all kinds of different like ads and they even give you look at this like fucking awesome sheet they, they give you too they give you like this like different characters and areas in the game and stuff like that L like it was amazing and that's why I'm so nostalgic for all these big box PC games and I know if I was going to actually play some of these games honestly I'd probably be using like DOS box or whatever because I don't know how well, some of these, uh, you know, games would work if I'm loading them off of, uh, you know, 3.5 inch floppies or, um, you know, old discs or whatever. So I probably would just use DOSBox. But uh, regardless, like back then, like this is amazing packaging. Before we move on, even let's check out, let's check out this. I don't even know, I don't even remember what's in this, but I'm sure it's good because that's what they used to do. Oh my God! Wait, hold up. First of all, I mean, here's these, but let's see what came in King's Quest. King's Quest, first of all, you get this fucking booklet, right? Guidebook. Guidebook to the land. Look at look at this fucking giant guidebook. This is like a fucking J.R.R. Tolkien, like, thing. Like, it's amazing. They give you all this shit. This is like, this is Sierra being like, we care. We want our people to, ex to like... You know, we want our fans to enjoy what they just fucking bought. What else? All kinds of sh fucking shit. Like this. Um, what's this? Well, this is just an advertisement. But all kinds of like fun, fun things. There's more stuff too. All kinds of stuff. They, that's what they used to do. I mean, I used to have. Um, there was a game I had that came with like this wheel and where you like decipher like codes and shit for the game and like all kinds of like cool like extra little things they put in there and I think they need to bring that I think they need to bring that back because I think it, wouldn't it be nice I'm enjoying this game by the way I'm not saying I'm not I'm enjoying Link's Awakening I'm just saying 
Could, could we have something? Could you put something in the fucking box? Something? There's, n there's nothing. There's nothing. Zero. And by the way, I just opened this with the shrink wrap, like, right before the stream. There was nothing in here. There could be, like, how about a sticker? Fucking something. Give us something, for Christ's sakes. That's what you get in 2019. You get fucking... You get a fucked in the ass is what you get. You get nothing. All right. Anyway, regardless, this is a good game. And that's, that's the important part, though. Um... Thank you, Prophet, for subbing Tier 1. You feel like you were gypped or something? I, I don't feel like I was gypped because, I mean, the game is good and that's all I really care about. But they could have put, like, put something in there. Come on. Come on. There's a collector's edition. Okay, well, it's good that there's a collector's edition, but, like, still, in the regular edition, we can't, that means, that means that in the regular edition, you get absolutely nothing. I think they could at least have, like, some kind of, like, card or something in there that says, some, like, do fucking something, for Christ's sakes. Um, I don't know. And then in the collector's edition, give you, like, more, but there, there should be something. It's just, it's ridiculous. Anyway. So this is Link's, Link's Awakening. Um, I don't know where I'm going next, so I'm just gonna wander around. Put a condom in there. Put a fucking condom in there. Put a condom with a fucking Triforce. I don't care. Give us something. That's fine. I'll take a condom over nothing. Put a, pa a pack of lube. Be fine. <laughs> sure. Anything used or fresh, I don't care. You put you put a used condom in there. That's fine. That'll be great. That's what I want with my Zelda games. You know, back in my day, they used to fill that package up. <laughs> Not, Nintendo ain't filling any packages up these days. How about a Triforce butt plug? Something. Come on. I mean, really. I wonder how long this dude stays with us. Dog, doggy Bow Wow McGee. That's cool though. Look how good this looks. Like, I love how this beach and shit looks. I always loved this area of the game when I was a kid. Um, well, I guess it wasn't the first time I played it when I was a teenager, because I, I remember borrowing this. The first time I ever played Link's Awakening on, well, was on Game Boy, and I borrowed it from a friend, because I had the Game Gear. Um, and I didn't, get, I didn't have the Game Boy until a little bit later. I had a hard time at first when I was a kid appreciating the Game Boy because it wasn't in color and backlit and all that stuff. So, you know, it's 10 years until the Game Boy Color came out, right? Wasn't it a decade? Isn't that crazy? And then, like, the Game Gear had fucking color and a backlight. It was so ahead of its time. Like, it was so ahead of its time. Can I go this way? Sorry, I'm, like, trying to figure out where to go next. Oh, I can, I can lift these now. That's right. Okay. I just came into the stream. What have you seen that's different from the original? Um, there's some things that I've noticed here and there and I've been saying um, that I think are different, but the thing is, is, like I've said, I've only beaten the original like two or three times, so I'm not super familiar. So some of the things I'm noticing... I'm like, I think that's not in the original, but I'm not sure. I'm not the best person to answer that. I'm a good person to answer that with Zelda, Zelda 2, Link to the Past. Uh, Link, well, this one I don't know quite as well. So, as far as the original, I haven't, I haven't played it through as many times. Uh oh, oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. What, what do I do? Like water this thing or something? Like, what do I do with it? What do I do with it? I don't know. So I can't jump over all these, right? Well, how many can you jump? 
Like only one, right? Yeah, so that's not gonna work. Martha? Are you back on the Martha thing? Martha! Jesus, remember that from that Batman Superman movie? That was so bad. I only saw that movie once. I saw it in the theater, and that movie was real bad. I, that was one of those movies where, see, sometimes movies, I, I don't realize it's real bad until afterwards. Like, I was really hyped to see Last Jedi, because, like, I, I, you know, I, I like Luke Skywalker and Mark Hamill and all that. And I was like, okay, this, this one has to be pretty good. It's got Mark Hamill in it. So when I first saw Last Jedi, I was like, okay, okay. Like, I was kind of in denial that it was, like, shitty. That one took me a little while. But that fucking Batman, the Batman vs. Superman, while, when I was in the theater... I knew as I was watching it. I was like, yeah, no, this is not happening. This is not happening. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, no. You gave up on Star Wars movies after episode one? I don't blame you. I don't know why I didn't, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I've given up on it now. For sure. I, I mean, I, I gave up on it years ago. I guess the, I guess I didn't totally. I guess Last Jedi was the last straw for me. I was still, I guess, holding out hope at that point. But now, now it's just, yeah, well, like whatever. Forget it. You know. So that's a, that's over. That's a dead franchise. I mean, it'll keep going forever, and people will keep seeing them forever, but... I think people are starting to see, though. You know? I mean, you literally have... It's still amazing to me that there was a Star Wars movie that f flopped. Like, that Solo movie just flat-out flopped. Star Wars Land, or whatever they're calling it, Galaxy's Edge in Disney is, uh, is a disaster. Uh, the parks are empty. They're, Disney, Disney is scrambling, trying to figure out what to do. It's a sad, uh, it's a sad situation. To think one of the most beloved franchises from our childhood is turned into what it's turned into. It's very sad. If you want to still go back and experience, have some good experiences though, you can always go back. What I recommend, try to get yourself a copy of uh, um, the despecialized edition Star Wars and just, just watch the despecialized editions. Watch those movies, how they were supposed to be in the theaters, and you, you the, 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 your love for Star Wars will immediately come back, I think. I wish I had that key. Gotta get the key. What is that? I can't even see what that is. Can I jump over? Can I pull that now? And if I do that, that's, no, that's not gonna work. Okay. So I guess I can't get through any of this right now. Oh wait, I can go down this way. Hold up. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what's in this place. You really want to see the despecialized edition? Yeah. Try to you know find a way to get a copy of it. That's great. Anyway, here we are playing Zelda, talking about Star Wars again. What the fuck does this guy say? I really want to since you not bring that awful beast in here. Leave the creature outside. Okay, so I gotta come in here later or something. Oh, you know what? This fucker, this fucker I gotta, like, bring to that house and, like, leave at the person's home, huh? Is that what I do? Bring that guy back to the beginning and give this back to the lady or something? That's probably what I'm supposed to fucking do, huh? I'm just realizing. I like having him with me, though. He's, like, helpful. Can I? Oh, but, however, we can do this. Para Octorok. This looks so great. 
Look at look at this water. This water looks fucking awesome. It's a very rich environment they've put together here. Awakening the map was opposite of empty. Yeah, um, I, I felt. Uh, what was the one? Uh, was it Twilight Princess? Maybe it was Twilight Princess. It was one of them where the map just seemed really fucking empty. Like you'd go long distances and there wouldn't be like an enemy. Was it Twilight? I think it was Twilight Princess that was. Maybe it was that. Or maybe it was Skyward Sword. I forget, kind of forget now. But there was one of them where I remember being like late in the game. And going around Hyrule Field, and I, I think it was Twilight Princess, and I liked Twilight Princess. I'm not saying like Twilight Princess is a pretty good game, but I, I remember like the enemies like not like being very sparse. Um, but Twilight Princess is good though, mostly. At least I, I mean I when I played it, I liked it at least. Oh shit. Did I ever go to the Star Trek hotel in Vegas that serves Romulan ale? Yeah, that was the Las Vegas Hilton where they had the Star Trek experience, and the, that was Quark's bar where they had the Romulan ale. Yeah, I, I went there several times and it was awesome. And it sucks that it's not there anymore. They should have never shut that down. That ride was awesome. That was a fucking big mistake. Oh, there's some strange energy energy coming from here. Uh oh, let's see. To warp to a different. Oh, because I haven't uncovered another one, right? So I need to like pick another one up before that's gonna work. Skyward Sword is the best Zelda game. Yeah, you know what I love about Sky Skyward Sword so much? I love swinging around a Wiimote for like umpteen hours, and I love really, 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 really long tutorials. That's, those are great. It's great. each other like what I don't know what all that was about poor monkey doesn't stand a chance I feel like I'm really like off course of whatever I'm supposed to be doing here I really need, like, flippers or whatever. God, I have no fucking idea. $8 bagels with cream cheese?
What are you talking about, eight dollar bagels? Bring. Oh yeah, so this dude, I gotta get him home. Let's do that. Some of the things, like that one house I went in, maybe like that was important, but like I couldn't really get anywhere because he's like, don't bring the dog in my fucking house. So let's attempt to get. What about this too, by the way? What? Cool. Uh, no, I want to be like, oh, right there. So I don't have that yet. That's cool though, that they're putting all these warps around. Like the original game, I don't think had all those, right? So that's like an upgrade. I don't think it did anyway. So they're making getting around the map quicker. All right, let's see here. I'm home. Rough, rough. Where's the woman? Yo, here you go. Ho, 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 ho. ho. Don't only give me a kiss. Yeah, lucky. Uh, great. Just what I wanted. Have I been in here yet? There's a lot of different houses to get on. Oh. The fucking Yoshi doll and shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck, fuck. Didn't mean. Back. I want that Yoshi doll. Yeah. We're playing. Alright. I gotta get it down. Son of a bitch. I hate these crane games. This is about how it goes in real life, too. Maybe? Come on, come on, come on! Oh, fuck you! Oh, you suck. Well, it's closer. Ooh, this Yoshi fucking thing better like be amazing. Ah. <sighs> uh, well, prepare to sit here for a while. Ah. Uh, this shit's rigged. I'm gonna go back to Pokemon doing that gambling shit. You remember that? Emerald. Oh my god, it. It. Oh my god, it went just like a little bit. And then it fucked up. I hate crane games. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. This is gonna be really annoying. Okay, that's not too bad. That's pretty good. Come on, come on, come on. That's like almost perfect. Oh. 
Well, at least I got it down there. Oh, this is some shit, man. Great idea, Nintendo. This is... This, I don't think this was in the original game, right? So this is like some b fucking bullshit. This is what they come up with? Oh, I did not mean to do that. All I have to do is go right. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. They had it, but it was easier. Oh, it was way easier on the original, says France Dean. Okay. Come on now. That's pretty good. Come on. Don't be a bitch. Fuck you! There was nothing wrong with that! This is shit. Come on, come on. <sighs> this sucks. Why would they do this? Do I not have it? I got it, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say. If that didn't give it to me, I'm fucking pissed. Now what does the Yoshi Dalian fucking do? I guess whatever, I got it. Now I'm going for the... I want that hard piece. Let's get this over with. Ah, oh, shit. Ah. Imagine I get out the first try. Oh god, just stay in there. You scum! Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow, it's like further away. You know what? It like literally put it further away. Dude, just go nice and slow and bring it all the way over. Just bring it all the way over, bring it all the way over, bring it all the way over. Oh shit! Oh, that's right, that's how you do it! No, I'm done. And what is that bag up there? Is that just magic powder or something? I don't care about that. Is that all that is? Anybody know, is that just like a magic? Like what I already have, basically. So I don't really care about that. Magic dick growing powder. Oh! Maybe it lets me carry more? Okay. I'll try it. I guess I'll try to get it. I mean, I don't know. Oh, this is gonna be shit. I don't know. I don't know if I want to sit here and do that. I'll try it again. Oh, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. It's 
it's like the timing on it's so fucked that it's like. So, like, unless that's some other, that's just your, your shield back if something takes it, right? So, fuck that. So, I'm done. What? What? Whoa, you won Yoshi doll? We've been trying to do that forever. Mom's really desperate to have one. All right, so who's who's your mom? I'll give your mom. <laughs> I'll give it to your mom. 